Well, g'day legends, welcome back to the channel. Um, as I promised you guys, I was going to come out midweek and pan off, just getting my detector there, panning off everything that was inside this old timer's beer bottle that I found in Denali. So I was going to do it at home and then I thought, why wouldn't I come down to my local gold bearing creek and show you guys here it's a little more interesting and it's a little bit nicer and who knows i might have a little dig while i'm here swing the gold monster over and just see if there's any little flakes hanging around but what i'm going to do i'm going to get set up and then um we're going to run through panning so what i think i might do because i've had a lot of people or quite a few people mention to me that they either um have done a course in panning, want to do a course in panning, or haven't started panning yet because they just don't know how to. So what I'll do, because this won't take long to pan, I might do a little tutorial on how to pan. Um, so go get yourself a pan, watch this video, and then you're right to get started. All right, legends, I'm going to get set up, and um, we'll get this happening. Let's do it. All right, so let me run through a couple of things with you guys. Classifiers, always handy. Helps get the dirt, classify them down to equal sizes. Obviously, a pan and something to collect your pay dirt in. All right, so this is pretty much how it works, guys. I put my classifiers in my tub then time to clean this out all right So as you can see, that's the mermaid nipple I was talking about. It goes in, comes up there. So yeah, something interesting. All right, give this a rinse. What I'm actually gonna do is just take, I'll rinse that once I've classified this dirt. So once I do, that's classified. I just literally break it all down. I wanna make sure you clean off any rocks, break it all up. This stuff's been in that bottle for maybe 100, 150 years. So it's really, really hard to break down. But where there's a will, there is a way. So classifying is really just getting everything the same size. When we're panning, it's a lot easier if you don't have all different size material in your pan. You've got pan, some that's small, some that's big. It makes it really hard. You end up losing some gold for a lot more than what you should be losing. So, classifying, super important. And what I'm left with is nothing but, and that one, Just a couple of rocks, as you can see. So nothing there to worry about. I'll have a quick look. No species, no chunks of gold. So we throw that one away. Next one, so that was a five millimeter classifier. This one here is a two millimeter classifier. So what we end up with now is getting rid of any of the little or pebbles. And we're literally left with anything two mil smaller. So, we have a quick look at that. No nuggets, no gems. So guess what? We get rid of that. Now, the fun bit, ladies and gentlemen. We get our, <coughs> we get our 
material that we've cleaned and it goes let me just fix you up it goes into our pan now don't be afraid of losing your gold at this stage because gold is so much heavier than water that it's going to sink to the bottom it's going to sink to the bottom all right so we've cleaned out that nothing left in there so guess what get rid of that now the fun part so let me explain how a pan really works guys You've got this V shape down here, and when I am classif when I'm shaking it, agitating it like this, I'm just getting all the dirt, all the little rocks, to separate. And because I've got it on this angle, this V is where the gold's going to collect. So it's going to collect right down the bottom here. But if I don't agitate it enough, obviously it won't. So I agitate it. Agitate it, agitate it, agitate it. Make sure that first time you give it a really, really good mix around because the gold's sitting anywhere. But at the moment, I'm just working it right to the bottom. Awesome. Now, all I wanna do now is only remove this front section because as I said, the gold is now sitting down the bottom down here so all i do now is little lifts and as you can see the material just washed away the heavy the lighter stuff the heavy stuff stuck down there i do it again make sure i agitate it agitate agitate there's no point just doing this because then everything's just moving as one agitate agitate make sure all the materials in there and then repeat Rinse that front section off. And anything that's in there, if there's any gold in there, it will be down the bottom, but don't be too worried, because like I said, it's so heavy, it's going to get caught in these riffles anyway. So as long as you're not doing anything ridiculous, you're just plodding along, taking your time. You'll be fine. So, we keep going. Just removing a little bit. There's no hurry. There's no hurry at all. Getting it to the bottom. Removing a little bit. Now I'm almost at the point now that I could pan it off. Or I could swirl it around and expose what I've got there. But I'll just take a little bit more off. A little bit more. Oh, I can actually see. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. That's not right. That's not right. I think I just saw some glisten of gold, but that can't be right. All right. So now what we do is we swirl it. So I'll try and get around here. And I'll try and do it for you guys. So now what we do, all the heavies are gonna be down the bottom. We just wash away very gently. Oh! Are you kidding me? What? What? No. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I've actually found gold in that bottle. <laughs> That's, um... I'm speechless. I did this as a... <laughs> well, okay. So as you can see, I've got four little pieces there. And one of them... Is actually a sticker. It's not a picker, so I can't pick it up. But it is a sticker, and there it is. Wow. <laughs> wow. I am blowing away. Like, seriously. I came down here expecting just to show you guys how to pan. Um,. And there's gold in the old timer's bottle. Now, in saying that, there's probably about two cents worth of gold there. So, unless I'm going to start digging thousands and thousands of bottles and hoping they've all got their two cents worth of gold, 
it's not a very profitable business, but it was some fun. I hope you guys learned something. And one thing to remember with gold panning or any sort of detecting at all, any sort of prospecting is, um, no matter what, you're gonna lose some gold, guys. So whether you're panning, detecting, sluicing, running a high banker, dry blowing, it doesn't matter. Everyone loses some gold. The thing that's really important is how much are you losing? Is it okay in percentage wise? So for example, if I was to only come down here and do five pans of gold in a day and I lost five specs, that's a lot of gold. I might've only got 10 or 15 specs out of my five pans and I'll lose five of them. That's half. But if I was to come down here and run a high banker and put through a meter of dirt in a day and lose five specs, it's not an issue. It's not an issue at all because the quantity I'm putting through. So gold pans will lose some, not as much, but you're only doing a small amount of dirt. High bankers will lose a little bit more, but you're putting a lot more through, collecting a lot more gold. So it all works itself out at the end. As long as you're doing everything you can to catch the most amount of gold possible. <sighs> Maybe I just start digging up old timers bottles. Mate, that was amazing. Absolutely blew my mind. I can't believe it. There was gold in a bottle. Wow. All right, legends. It's been fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. You.